Hello, this is Brian Shannon from Alpha Trends Blogspot. Today is Tuesday, March 20th, 2007. It's the first day of spring, and we're looking today at shares of Evergreen Solar, simple ESLR on Wall Street. Uh, we're looking at a chart right now that goes back to 2001. You can see that the stock broke past some resistance uh, back in late 2004, and the stock had a terrific run from about, uh, about $3.5 a share close to $18 a share. Now, since then, it's experienced a correction for the uh, latter part of last year. Interesting thing is if you take the entire range of this move from the lows in 2002 down near 45 cents up to the highs right up here at about 17 and a half, you'll see that it pulled back and retraced almost exactly a two-thirds uh, retracement of that move to 0.618%. Now, I don't put a lot of uh, uh, faith in that or any really... Uh, significance other than it's just kind of interesting if you're interested in uh, uh, Fibonacci. Let's take a look at the weekly time frame though because here we're starting to see that it looks like the buyers are starting to take back control of the stock. We had this resistance from uh, 2005 at about the seven and a half to eight dollar level and this resistance here has acted as support twice. Looks like we had a little shake out there and now it looks like the buyers are moving back into the stock. It's broken its downtrend line and it's also broken this series of lower highs and also lower lows in here. So we've, what we've seen now is we have this low here, but now we have a higher low, and also we have a higher high. So if I was an investor, I would be thinking this would probably be a good time to get involved in this stock um, because of the bigger significant uh, two-thirds retracement, as well as the fact that now we have for the first time in uh, more than a year, evidence of an uptrend on this weekly time frame with higher highs and higher lows. So the stock is coming back around and it looks like it's back in a stage two uptrend. If we look at the daily time frame, we can see that uh, this prior resistance in here now looking like it's acting as support. So we've got this area in here between nine and a quarter basically to nine and a half. That seems to be uh, a prior significant resistance which might act as uh, support. You could also make a case if you wanted that this would be uh, uh, head and shoulders pattern. We can take the height of that at $7 a share and run it straight up to the top of the neckline at 9.5. Add the 2.5 point height of this pattern to that $9.5 breakout level and that would give us a price objective of about $12 a share. So right now it looks like the stock has the potential to get up towards maybe about that $12 a share. Um, but if I was an investor, I'd probably be keeping an eye on the bigger picture here and thinking that maybe it can return back to its old highs. But it looks limited risk. So for an investor, I would say right now we have this low near 7. We have another low just at about uh, 805. And then we have this low here at about 905. So if I was to be a purchaser of this stock for investment purposes, I would think that a stop ought to go underneath this higher low right here. So maybe you put your stop around $9 a share from an investment. Uh, a short-term trade, though, looks like it's setting up in this stock as well. If we uh, drill down to a 10-minute time frame, we usually don't look at that on here, but if we look at the 10-minute time frame, you can see the stock's got a little bit of resistance the last three days, just, a, just about $10 a share. So I think getting above that $10 a share level, that the stock has the potential probably to make another run for at least the $11 a share area, maybe consolidate, then go for that $12 price target, and then who knows what after that. But for the short-term trader, I would say, uh, might want to keep an eye on it. I'm going to keep an eye on it here on Tuesday for a move above this $10 level. And I think I would set a stop just below this higher low right here. So maybe only risk about 12 or 13 cents and uh, try to keep raising that stop up underneath it and protect profits if they come and uh, see how high we can ride this thing.